Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to do a MANOVA in R. So the first thing that I'm going to do in my R code here is load a couple libraries that we might need. And you can see I've already loaded them and simulated some data for us to use today in our MANOVA. So if you're interested in that, the code will be linked down below. I won't get into that here. And another thing that I've also done to prepare us for our MANOVA is to put all of our data in a data frame so that we can see how it looks. So let's go ahead and do that now. So you can see that today we're looking at a MANOVA with two outcome variables, waist measurement and thigh measurement. And then we have some group that we're interested in seeing the difference. So we only have two levels of our group here as you can see. And we're going to see if there's any difference in waist and thigh measurement. So one thing to note about the MANOVA in R is that R likes the arguments to the MANOVA in matrix and vector form. So right here what I'm doing is combining our two outcome variables and changing them into a matrix and calling it Y so that we can use that later. And same thing, I'm changing our group variable into a vector. So now that we've done that, I can go ahead and create our MANOVA model. And wouldn't you know it, the command to do that is just MANOVA. So let's go ahead and create that model. So now R has stored that model for us. And what we have to do is conduct some hypothesis tests on this. So there's four really common test statistics. And we won't talk about them in detail. If you're interested in them, there's a blog post on my website, sassystatistician.wordpress.com. And you can read all about these different four. What I'm going to show you right now is how to run all of them. So you're going to use the summary function, feed in your MANOVA model, and then use the argument test to tell R which test statistic you would like. So I'm listing the four common ones right here, and I'm going to go ahead and run those. So let's just really quickly look at these. I won't go into too much detail, but notice the first three that we ran. Their p-values are really similar. They're not exactly the same, but they're all around 0.53. This is normal. The last one, however, it's called Roy in R, is a lot lower. The p-value is a lot lower than we would expect, given that the other ones all had relatively high p-values. This is because all four of these test statistics use the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix from your MANOVA in order to calculate the test statistics. The first three take all of them and in some way combine them in order for us to get that test statistic. So it's using all of the eigenvalues of the matrix. Roy's, which is also called Roy's maximum root or Roy's largest root, only uses, as the name suggests, the largest eigenvalue of that matrix. So this test tends to overestimate the effect, which means that if you ever run into a case where you have all four test statistics and only Roy's is significant, it's probably uh, overestimating the effect and giving you a false positive. So if you ever run into that situation, make sure you're paying attention to the other three test statistics as well. Awesome, okay. So now that you guys know what a MANOVA is, you know how to run it, I think that we're done here. Thanks for watching, guys.